Alright, welcome back to more Mega Man Maker. We're continuing on the Rocks Rescue series here by Tyler Bolt. So yeah, we played through the tutorial level in the last one. And we played through the first Fortress stage as well. <clears throat> so, yeah. We're continuing on here, trying to uh, save our cat Tango, I wanna say its name is. And we're also trying to save Mega Man, who is... Apparently, yeah, being captured by Dr. Wily, and apparently Dr. Wily is trying, <laughs> is trying to do some kind of brain surgery on Mega Man, you know, rewiring him to be evil. So yeah, this is imperative that we finish this off as soon as possible. And, wow, oh yo yo, dude, this is. Yeah, this is already gonna be very tricky, I can tell. Let's see... We do have a whole bunch of weapons now, though, which is cool. Yeah, the atomic fire stuck from the last one. We have the sea power. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna have the flame sword up for the time being. Holy cow, dude. Jesus. <laughs> nice, okay. Oof. Yeah, you don't have a whole lot of time here. You gotta be... You gotta be on point. Whoa, okay, that was pretty neat. Phew, okay, well, that was a cool room there. Very difficult, but fun to pull off. Let me just get a... Get past these doofuses. Okay, and yes, here we gotta be very mindful of this level too. We do still have the electric flooring. Yeah. I was kind of hoping for some weapon energy. It's always nice being full on crash bombs. Like, typically, when you have the cra crash bombs, there are gonna be barricades to blow open with it, so. We don't wanna be using it too much. Oh my, okay, <laughs> that, that, that is a very tricky enemy there, to deal with with the magnet in your back. Okay, well, we made it, nice. See, the start there was pretty dang hard, um, but nothing past it was instant death, so yeah, that's very nice planning there. And maybe we'll bust out the crash bombs here. You know what? The flame sword might actually be the best. Let's see here. Nice. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so gonna, I'm so gonna lose here. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, as long as you're standing under this here, you're kind of safe, actually. <laughs> Just as I say that. Uh... You know, wouldn't you know? But yeah, see. Yeah, okay. There is a pattern to this. Like, the balls bounce once, then on the second bounce, they automatically target you. So you gotta be ready for that second bounce and either dodge or stand under one of these platforms here. So here now, it's gonna go for me. Yeah. But yeah, I'm so focused on balls that I, yeah, I'm not focusing on the boss. Okay, well. Okay, nice. Oh, no! I'm like, come on, dude. Come on now. Wow, dude, the flame sword. It's so bald! Or maybe I'm bald. <laughs> Probably a combination of both, let's be real here. <laughs> Please, no! <laughs> Get back here, this is torment! I'm dead. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm <gasps> I survived! No! Yes! Oh. oh, thank you, I managed. 
I managed. You know what? I was gonna reset. Refill my health. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna try and go through without the fighting them even? Well? Nice, stereo, okay. <laughs> I might start, like, if we die on this segment, I might start using the crash bomb stereo to speed things up. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass later. Nice. One thing that's nice with the sword here, by the way, like, against these is... Yeah, see, the sword hangs out there for so long, so you can just stick it out in advance and it will always destroy those little turret guys there. Now I forget their names, but... Hmm. Health and energy. What's over here, then? We're back here? This looks very familiar. Whoops. Yeah, this is a... Well, is it? Is it a segment from the first level? Kind of is. Kind of, but not really. <laughs> like, this has been closed off here. Instead, there's a snake blocking there. That looks kind of cool looking, I gotta say. Alright. Oh god, there's a pit there now. Oh, I'm, I'm so screwed. So screwed. Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> what the? How do we beat that dude? He's like a mini boss in. Yeah. He's pretty much a mini boss. Oh my. <laughs> Please die. Thank you. Blew all my crash bounce for that. Hmm. Okay, so. That? Oh god. Wow, <laughs> that was a tight jump. Very tight jump. Whoa. No! <laughs> no! My atomic fire. There's some really nice color combina color combinations down here. Yeah, this works very well, very very well together. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that is green skeleton down here. Nice, and one more. Oh. Oh, crap. Wow. Huh. Please tell me. Yeah, thank you. We got a checkpoint. <laughs> okay, back here again. Let's try and do this just a little bit better here. Yeah, actually, let's look ahead. What's gonna happen, even? That platform is gonna disappear, so you better jump fast, okay. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Onto the crystal. From the crystal up onto the blue blocks. Yeah. The blue blocks, or maybe just from the crystal onto the red one, then jump up as high as you can and just float down. And then, okay, yeah, that's gonna be my plan of action here. Okay, uh, go jump, nice, and jump. Okay, yeah, nice. That was a really cool room there. A thinking man's room. And yeah, this is not gonna work. And I only have one of these left. Oh no, he soaked it. Ooh. This is gonna be tricky. 
Nice, okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here and thank you. Pretty sick. Point in health. Yeah, once we're done with this segment, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna have to go back and grab that energy room there because, yeah. I'm a little bit nervous without my crash bombs. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I got locked there by the flame sword. I think you can actually stand here and roll out. Actually, I'm kind of curious now. Yeah, you can roll while he's standing there. Okay. Okay, you know what? Let's just try and dodge. Oh, wow, do the magnets. This room is deceptively hard. I just now realized here. You gotta be kind of careful against this Sparkman here. Yeah, just don't try and force in too much damage. Whoa, yes, he. Yeah, pretty interesting room here with Sparkman. Like, once I started to focus there and, you know, pay attention to what the heck I was doing, it wasn't so bad, but, you know, still a pretty hard Sparkman fight, actually. Ooh, and you know what? We're back here now. So, yeah, we went there to the left. Just let me confirm. Yeah. We went in there. And yeah, we still lack our our atomic fire. Huh. Let's see. You still don't look the broom there if you do find. Oh I see! I see. You know what? When we play the first stage. Like there were all these doorways that I never went. But now here in the second stage they make an appearance and now you can go into them. Yeah, see, I was wondering that. Like, well, I was editing the last level, like, or the last video of the first stage, like, how the hell would you go into all these places? Like, you can't get the broom and, yeah, but yeah, no, those were just for show, I guess. Hmm. Well, oh, well, let's see. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, poorly timed. Poorly timed. Sorry. Yeah, I'm playing a little bit bad today. Like, I'm kind of, like, I'm not tired, but at the same time, I am kind of tired. A little bit <laughs> sluggish. So, yeah, I'm bound to make some mistakes today and, you know, take some sloppy hits here. Hmm. Okay, well. We did free Tango. I never even... <laughs> yeah, see, that's how slow I am today. But okay, but this here is where Tango was held prisoner, and we need a blue key here as well. That was a pretty cool prison cell for Tango, too. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> wow. I missed all over the place. Okay, so to the left here from the, from the energy room. To the left from the energy room is where we have a blue key. I gotta try and remember that. Yeah, blue box room there to the left, okay. Or cat room, yeah, let's just... <laughs> I'll try and remember just the cat room. Usually if you bind something in your head to an item or whatever, it's a little bit easier to remember. At least in my experience. That's why I'm trying to come up with these weird runes or... Yeah, just whatever, okay. This and we are ready to go. Nice. And yes, yeah, so you actually need Tango before you get here. Interesting. And this is also pretty cool there, like how yeah. You can't get Yeah, you, you can't get in uh, well, yeah. The bomb the bomb shocker, the rock shocker can't get in a free hit on you there. Basically, you can't sucker punch you upon entering there, um, since we had the ball, pretty nice stuff there. Ooh, and yeah, I can already tell what we gotta do here. Okay, so yeah, the timer is actually pretty generous here, that's nice. Of course, it does have a lot of invincibility frames, so... Yeah. Definitely a good call, I would say. 
Nice, nice bait. Dang it. Yeah, pretty cool. Top man fight here as well. And yeah, it's definitely a good idea that it's taking four damage. <laughs> this would have taken a long time otherwise. Oh, close. Oh, I could have got him in there. I just kind of gave up. Okay, well, we should have him here. Nice. Very cool. Oh, that was the final boss. See, so that means that the left area there where the blue key is, or was, to the left of the tango room. Yeah, or inside tango's room. Yeah, that's where we're heading next, so... Okay. This is actually pretty interesting, like if you try and remember things for the next part, um, you can kind of connect things together. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be playing these two last levels separately, I hope you don't mind. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit... Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit uh, sluggish, as I said before, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna chill out here for a bit, and yeah. We'll probably play the final part sometime after the weekend here, now that's coming up. Don't know when, but it is coming for sure. So yeah, very nice stage once again, Taylor Bolt. Um, yeah, I definitely like those on and off switch puzzles. Though they were pretty brutal, but they were fun as well to pull off. You just had to be a bit careful and you know, check out your surroundings before jumping into it. So yeah, fun stuff all around. So yeah, I will just leave it at that. Thank you guys so very very much for watching and have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> so yeah.